Yo, what's good YouTube? Today, woke up to the maddest news. Montclair have purchased Stone Island um, for 1.4 billion US dollars, which is, I don't know, 1.1 billion pounds. This is nuts. Nobody saw it coming. Um, I definitely didn't. This is like uh, Arsenal buying Harry Kane. This is like United buying Aguero. Spurs buying Azpilicueta. It's all nuts. Nobody thought it was going to happen, but it's happened. Uh, I'm going to talk about what I think this means for Stone Island uh, and Montclair in general for us fans of the brands, us buyers, uh, the people that wear the brand, people that buy the brand. And also, I'm going to show what's come through the post uh, recently that is going to be for sale. I've got a massive, massive drop uh, landed today from the postman. Massive parcel, sorry. There's bear items. I'm going to show you them and also talk about my thoughts. Right, before I start talking about the Montclair Stone Island thing, there's two pieces that I want to talk about. Uh, the rest I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to be like putting them on whilst I chat. Um, but these two pieces here, super gassed about. This is the green Prismatica hooded version, bare rare. Um, I've had the blue version. I've got the blue version. I've had the red version. I've had the black version. I've had this green version in the field jacket style. I've just never had or never even seen for sale one of these. So when it came up for sale, I knew I had to grab it. Um, yeah, this is in my personal collection. This won't be for sale. And then next, another one for my collection. Unless somebody, this, uh, this, I would sell if I got the right price for it. This is the poly cover. You know, you know what it is. Um, poly cover, beautiful shirling lining, buff, buff, buff. Uh, and then the like see-through layer, mad nice. Uh, and this is a medium. Both both of these are my size. The other ones are large, which and it fits me calm. This one's a medium, fits me very nice. Um, very happy with this. But yeah, um, where should I start with the Stone Island Montclair thing? Um, everyone's throwing their dummies out the pram. Oh, it's. Oh, this is the nail in the coffin. This is the final straw. I'm done with this brand. Stone Island have lost it. Um, this was the final straw. I can't believe it. Um, people are expecting... I don't know what they're expecting. Like the, You're not going to see a Stone Island logo alongside a Montclair logo. You're not going to see that. Uh, I, I don't know why people are complaining so much. I would love to know. Um, I think what it is... You know what? I, I don't know. If you don't like what has happened, please let me know in the comments. Um, what I think is going to happen, what, it will, what might change about the brands. So Montclair is a bit more pricey than Stone Island. So maybe Montclair will try and bring Stone Island up to that price range, but that won't happen anytime soon. Uh, it will happen gradually. And as we all know, Stone Island prices have been increasing every year regardless. So that's not gonna, that hasn't changed much. Um, people, I've seen people chat about how Montclair is a chubby brand. Well, to be honest, so, so is Stone Island, <laughs> um, but just own it for what it is in it. Um, uh, so people are complaining that Montclair is a chubby brand. Well, it's not much different to Stone Island, can't lie. Um, they've both got the same roots in the football culture, starting in Italy, the Panieros or whatever they were called, wearing these colourful Montclair jackets, colourful Stone Island jackets. Um, but yeah, so I don't know why people are complaining about that. And then also, what was I going to say? Let me cut it there and try and regain my thoughts. 
Oh, that was a madness. Uh, just had to delete their things off my phone, run out of space. But yeah, we're back and I remember what I was gonna say. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be putting on the items that came in the post. Um, and yeah, showing you guys. I'm not gonna chat about them too much, but yeah, this is just the Prada jacket. Got the logo there. Fur hood, nice orange lining. But yeah, um, cool. So yeah, people were complaining about how Montclair just do their standard puffer jackets. The quality is not good. Um, cool, I can I hear that about the quality. The quality isn't good on any of these jackets that we're buying for like near a grand. None of them are worth their price. Um, obviously, Canada Goose better quality than Montclair. Montclair, Stone Island. The quality is very similar, very similar between Montclair and Stone Island. I don't know what people are complaining about. Uh, people also saying they're not innovative. They they don't do anything apart from their from their standard puffer jackets. Look up, go on the Montclair website and look at their puffers. Some of their um, some of the puffers there, albeit that they're like one point five k or whatever, one point two k, one point five k, very expensive, but the designs on them are crazy. They're out of the box. I love it. They're not just doing their standard black puffer jacket, whatever. They've got some crazy patterns. Um, something. That, some of these patterns I'd love to see on Stone Island jackets. So it'd be awesome if they integrated their ideas between the companies. Stone Island started using some of Montclair's like design patterns and Montclair started using Stone Island's special process materials. That would be mad. Um, but I don't even think that's going to happen. Uh, I don't think anything is going to change between the brands. Um, nothing's going to change. Stone Island already have such a good business model. Why would Montclair come in and just change it completely? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. Why people are so mad about it. Oh, you ruined the brand. Last night when the coffin. Just relax. Uh overshirt khaki green overshirt um cool i've kind of said what i wanted to say about about the um montclair thing just going to show you these pieces real quick um but yeah what a mad bit of news who was expecting it montclair are killing it man they've just taken over uh, and carlo is just carlo the owner of stone island he's just taking this paycheck what a G, I, I love Carlo, what a Don. Um, but yeah, he's just taking the paycheck. He's getting old now, so he's just gonna retire probably somewhere in like Sicily or something, put his feet up, drink some fine wine with his one bill. Um, crazy, crazy. Yeah, good for him, good for him. I would have done that time ago, time ago. If I ever got to the point where I had like millions, yeah. I don't get how people still work like have all these all this money like millions millions and they're still like work and they're still trying to make bare money that that baffles me as soon as i've got enough money to retire i am retiring flying out to hot country or finland i want to move to finland when i retire but yeah uh, this is a david tc light jacket um with the montclair stone island thing please let me know your opinions in the comments um, let me know what you think it means for the brand if you agree with me if you disagree with me obviously I don't know what's going to happen this is just me making assumptions kind of educated guess um, this here David TC jacket it doesn't have a badge for it but uh, it's got this hood liner so this button's inside the hood, and then also uh, it comes with a downfield liner. This is a size large, will be for sale, not sure when. Keep an eye out on the Instagram. Um, one thing somebody told me or mentioned to me that did worry me about the Montclair Stone Island thing is that um so a number of accounts that i know got uh a number of instagram accounts resellers 
doing what I do basically. Got their accounts banned on Instagram because they were selling Montclair a low retail price, which Montclair don't like. Um, which I find just uh, mad that they can do that, ruin somebody's business because, uh, yeah, anyway, it's mad. Um, so what I'm worried about and other resellers should be worried about is Montclair implementing that over to Stone Island when they take over. Fingers crossed they don't. But yeah, reselling accounts might start getting banned. Uh, if that happens to me, rip. But I'll see a way through it. This jacket here, lit. This is a metallic mist shadow project jacket. Uh, I think it's an XL this, yeah it is. Pull over, mad nice. Uh, it's got this wicked effect on it. The mist effect, metallic mist. You can see it kind of like rubs out um, in the more worn places. But yeah, apart from that, it's got no flaws. So yeah, this is an XL. I'll be selling it around the 400 mark. Right, I'm gonna try and do this quickly. Uh, I'm bare hungry, I wanna make lunch. Here we got a CP company. Th these, I love these jackets. I remember when I was working in William Hill, like six years ago before I started reselling. No, sorry, when I first got into doing what I do with Stone Island, CP, all of that. I went, there was a shop nearby me that sold Stone Island and CP Company. They've got, um, they're not there anymore, unfortunately, didn't get enough business. But uh, they had this jacket, and I remember seeing it, it was like £695. And these times I was earning like £7 an hour, and I was just like, oh, I wish I could buy that. Um, but yeah, it's got like, nice thick lining, oil skin shell, nice jacket. Next up, this overshirt jacket. It's got this like velvet-like lining, bare soft, love it. The badge to the sleeve. Uh, I think this is, is this the Razo Flaccato? No. Oh, my dog's just come in. Hello, Olive. <laughs> this is Olive. This is my dog, this is my in-laws. In-laws, in-laws dog. There's two of them. I'm looking after both of them at the moment because uh, they're like redoing their flooring, and the dogs are annoying to have around. Hello. Um. Yeah, let me carry on with this vintage. Uh, this is like a paper. I, I don't know what this is called. Paper jacket. Ah, uh, I don't know. She's just walked back in. It's got the text there. I think the date on this is like 2000, 1999, 2001, something like that. Here we got a Burberry jacket. All right, I'm gonna try speed up. My belly's rumbling. Been chatting away for like 10 minutes now. Corduroy, I feel like I could, I don't know, I feel like um, this is like a hunting jacket. I should be like shooting some ducks or something. Proper nice, Burberry lined. Um, this one here is a bit weird. So this is a vintage Montclair jacket. It's got the vintage logo there. I don't know what, uh, when they were doing this logo, maybe in the 90s or whatever. But then it's got the embroidered National Geographic logo there. So I don't know what this is. What this is. Was this like... I, I, I don't know. And I doubt anybody in the chat knows, but please, in the comments. But please let me know if you do what the deal is here. Maybe like National Geographic sponsored Montclair or vice versa for some kind of expedition. Fart knows, man. Fart knows. Um, another Montclair puffer. Nice. Standard. Oh, it's so boring. So boring. <laughs> yeah, nice. Another vintage one. Vintage puff off. Hey Bert, Bertie, come in. Bertie, come, come, come. 
There's Olive again. Bertie, come. He's scared of all the jackets on the floor. <laughs> this one don't give a fuck. Bertie, come. No, he's not on it. Oh uh, yeah, this is another vintage Montclair. This is like, I don't know, early 90s. Nice downfield, all of that. Remember, these will all be for sale soon. Another Burberry jacket. Not going to put this one on. It's got the Burberry lining. Um, cool, cool, cool. And uh, this was a piece that I purchased for myself. This one's sick. This is a yellow. Obviously, the badge goes there. But yeah, yellow denim jacket. Love it. Haven't got the chance to wear it yet. It's more of a summer piece, isn't it? But yeah, I'm gone. Need to feed the dogs. Need to feed myself. Bear hungry. Let me know what you think in the comments of the Montclair Stone Island thing. And yeah, if you can like, subscribe, all of that. Please, it makes a massive difference. Love. Safe.